Yo, Chuck, we rolling? Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Picciuto, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make handmade solid wood pencils and a case to go with it. Perfect for craft shows, selling online, or gifts. Check. Today we're gonna to make a bunch of solid wood pencils using this cool jig invented by Andrew Klein. We're gonna do that later on in the video. First thing we're gonna do is make some pencil cases out of quarter inch material. I don't have quarter inch material, so I'm gonna head on over to the bandsaw and start resawing. I went ahead and ripped all my pieces and then cross cut everything to length. I'm going to start making the box joints here at the table saw. If you wanna learn how to make box joints at the table saw with a simple jig like this, I've got a dedicated video on that. I've also got a dedicated video on making box joints with only a router. Both of those videos will be linked down below and at the end of this video. So without further ado, we're gonna let Dan do his thing. Now that we have all the box joints cut, I am going to cut a groove along the bottom and the top of all the side pieces to hold the bottom and the lid. I don't need to do this on the short sides, just the long sides. We need to make the lids and the bottoms for these. So once again, back at the bandsaw, I'm just gonna cut thin strips. So now that we've resawn all these thin strips, it is time to cut them to width so it fits right in there. We need one for the bottom and one for the top. We need a place for the lid to slide in. So I need to take half of these short sides and cut off just a little bit to allow a lid to slide over top of that. I don't glue in the bottoms. Then we'll just do a little bit of glue in the joints. A little dippy doodad. It takes a lot to get glue into every single one of those. I don't worry about it. This is the pencil box. It's not going to, we're not gonna do a strength test. This isn't going to hold up. You know what I'm saying? It is time to cross cut the lids. The lids are a little bit longer than the base, which is why we did not cut them then. So I'm just gonna cut them to fit. I'm gonna slide the piece in there. And then I know it needs to go right there. So now we need a way to open the lid. So I'm just going to cut a little piece that's gonna fit right on the edge there and that'll give your finger a little, a little, you know what I'm saying? Little. Yeah. Whenever doing box joints, you might not always get the cleanest joints. So I just make a little bit of sawdust with the same wood and then mix that with some glue. And then just kind of kind of mash that in there.
Now that the boxes are done, it is time to make the pencils using Andrew Klein's pencil making jig and a block plane. I've gone ahead and cut up all the blanks to size and routed a groove for the leads. I am not going to make them here in the shop. Instead, I'm gonna head out to Joshua Tree, California and have some friends help me out. While flying out there, I will be listening to this audiobook from Audible, You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I have been a paying Audible member since 2011. Over the last eight years, I have listened to dozens of audiobooks. They have shaped me and helped my business in countless ways. You Are a Badass is about getting yourself in the right mindset to be successful. It's blunt and straight to the point. I'm a firm believer that positivity and mindset plays a huge role in personal growth, and that's why I've been a longtime member of Audible. Audible members get to choose three titles every month, one audiobook plus two Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else. With the convenient app, you can access Audible at anytime, at the gym, while commuting, on the go, and on any device. It will always pick up right where you left off. Start listening with a 30-day Audible trial and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals are free. Visit audible.com slash make something or text make something to 500-500. Again, that's audible.com slash M-A-K-E-S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G or text make something to 500-500. 500. Now let's put on some headphones and head out to California. Thanks, Audible. I got invited to Ben Ueda's place in Joshua Tree, California for what's called mixed giving. You probably know Ben from Homemade Modern. He handpicked around 15 creative people to hang out and do whatever for a week. So I took Andrew's pencil making jig and it was a huge hit. The way the jig works is you cut an eight inch long by three eighths by half inch blank. Then you route a groove on both sides of that blank with the bit that comes with the jig. You then split that in half, you drop in your lead and glue that together. Once dry, the blank fits into the spring loaded jig and has six positive stops. So you plane down one face until your block plane bottoms out and then you turn the knob until it clicks onto the next stop. Once you get all six sides planed down, you can pop your finished pencil out and sharpen. There are a couple options for the ends, including black and silver end caps, as well as erasers. You can also get different colored leads from Andrew. The pencils I have here do not have any of the end caps because I gave them all away at Thanksgiving. It takes less than five minutes to plane down each pencil. I was not paid by Andrew and I don't have an affiliate link. I just think this jig is really cool. So if you wanna buy one, there'll be a link to Andrew's website down below below. I will be selling seven pencil kits. It's first come first serve as a thank you to those of you who click on that notification bell. Each kit comes with three handmade pencils. Plans for the box will also be down below as well as links on how to make box joint jigs on the table saw and the router. I've got a feeling my friends and family are going to be getting handmade pencils this year. That's it, folks. We'll see you next week with a brand new project from Joshua Tree, California, where Kyle Toth and I make a glass and wood segmented vase. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.